Hello. So, yeah, I've been having problems with my phone. I don't know what's going on with it, but thankfully I'm able to record. Until now, I don't know. So, anyway, um, talking with my neighbor recently, just like half an hour ago, and we were talking about the end times and the things that are going on. And I told her, I don't understand why, you know, so God poured out his spirit and um, why people don't do what, you know, the apostles used to do, what Jesus used to do, rebuke storms and, you know, rebuke demons and all that. And she's like, because the message is not out there, you know, um, you barely find end time pastors anymore also. So he's not, they're not telling the people. Um, really what's going on with so just a few of them you know so yeah thinking okay you know I already talk about your territory and protecting your territory and your neighborhood or your state you know how to do that because he already pour out his spirit so definitely you could do these things you know so I was thinking about when Jesus um, died because I made a mistake. I, I said that the centurion killed him. He didn't kill him. He was already passed away, but he did finish off the body, you know, because once you pierce the spleen, that's it, you know. So you just bleed out, you know, like a sacrificial lamp, and that's how usually the kosher meat is done, you know, like they slice and take all the blood out, and that's the best way to eat because you're not you're not supposed to eat an animal that is not kosher right because the blood is still in there and Jesus tell us that you know life is in the blood so um so when he died and there was a huge earthquake and it caused the rocks to rent and his blood came down fell through the cracks down to this um, um, tunnel type of thing that they had created where the ark was and it went on the right side, right? It went on the right side. And um, so I was wondering, you know, the veil was rent also. The veil was rent. He rent the veil from top to bottom. He rented it. And I wondered why, you know? He said, for the end times. So I asked God, can I open that veil? Can I pull back the curtains? And he said, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to open it a little to see. You know, I think what I do, like I said, what I do, anybody can do. You don't have to say it if you don't want to but I I have the testimony of things that God had told me that I can do somebody could do it some other people can do it like I said you know certain person can do something because they are equipped their bodies were made to do certain things some people can do it so don't go around doing some things that you're not supposed to do you always have to ask for God to God and ask for confirmations like I do. I ask for confirmations, you know. And um, before I do anything, just to make sure that it's not the enemy because no matter whether you fast or not, the enemy is still going to want to talk to you. So you have to be careful. But... So I ask God what will happen, you know. Because, um, what else? I was going to say something else that I totally forgot. Oh, about the mark, right? So I was wondering, why the mark in the right hand? So I asked the Holy Spirit, why does it have to be in the right hand? And he says, Cecilia, remember, you know, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. So that is, you are confirming, <clears throat> sorry, um, you know, yourself to him. So if you take the mark on the right hand, you not you're confirming with the other side, with Satan, because that's what he wants. He wants your right hand to have the tattoo because Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. 
and then I'm thinking that makes sense that makes so much sense you know and um, he never said the left hand or some other other body part I guess because some people don't have arms right or they're missing their left arm I don't know you know so they're gonna have to get it and it's a tattoo that you can't see it unless you put like a you scan it and you're gonna be able to see it because nobody's gonna want something especially the way people are so vain these days they're not gonna want to have something on their forehead or showing on their on their hand you know so it's not gonna it's gonna have luciferous in it luciferous it only reflects with a with kind of a uh, you know with light with a different light like you see the black light how it works so it's like that too so yeah yeah my phone is messed up i can't use it i don't know what the heck happened i really don't know because i still have i didn't i had I still, you know, I didn't need to pay my bill. My bill is not due until the 18th, but somehow they recycled my number. And I'm like, okay, got it, you know. So anyway, anyway, God bless you guys.